My name is Heather McDonald. I'm a fellow at the Manhattan Institute, and I've had a long-standing interest in the university because I love universities, but I'm appalled by what's been happening to them recently. College tuition should pay for probably the greatest experience any individual should have, which is to be able to learn, to be able to encounter works of extraordinary beauty and grandeur, wisdom, profundity. This is four years to open your mind to what human beings have accomplished, what they overcame. When I was in college in the 70s, I was allowed to study the greatest works of mankind I was encouraged to read books that would expand my mind into realms I'd never even thought of before. Since then, the poisonous politics of identity have taken over. The biggest problem faced by students today is the encouragement of victimology. Students are taught to look around their environment, which is one of opportunity, and see only hatred and bigotry. Students today are taught, if I'm a female, I should not be expected to read male writers. Or if I'm black, I shouldn't be expected to read white writers. This color coding and gender coding is extraordinarily narrow. There is an entire bureaucracy that is dedicated to the preposterous idea that to be an American student on a college campus is to be the subject of literally life-threatening oppression. UCLA has a vice chancellor for equity, diversity, and inclusion who makes $400,000 a year. The University of California Berkeley diversity division has a budget of about 20 million. They are paying for the growing diversity bureaucracy. And it, it results in a extreme constriction of what students feel that they want to learn and ought to learn. I've experienced this myself. I was invited to Claremont McKenna College in Southern California, and the students uh, blockaded the building where I was supposed to speak. A professor at Yale, a highly renowned sociologist, was mobbed for three hours. The most extraordinary language. It has never been your turn. It's that not what to be. Not only was there no reprimand, the college president gave two of those mobsters a award for racial justice. The censorship that is now pervasive on campus has reached into the real world. A senior software engineer is reportedly out of a job at Google. That thinking that the color of one's skin or one's gender is the most important qualification is now transforming the world. I felt compelled to write The Diversity Delusion because I was so concerned about the direction that universities are taking. It's both the opportunity cost of lost knowledge, but their effect on the society at large of introducing racial division, ethnic tension, gender anger, in a, in a society that is in fact the most open and opportunity filled in human history. I couldn't have predicted what has happened. So at this point, the situation is quite urgent. In this book, we'll find out that professors are not teaching the great works of civilization the way they should, and we'll find out what the humanities should be and how colleges can reform themselves to expose students to the greatest works of humankind.